Hi guys, welcome to Johnny Mathematics and this is the final video in the Simplifying Algebra um, set of series of videos. Um, we're going to build up to brackets, using brackets and negative numbers and these scary looking rules. Okay, so I want to I want to break it down. Okay, and I want to get used to using these rules. Okay, these rules are massively important. If you want to access higher levels in mathematics, you need to know these automatically. Okay, um, yeah. So you, you probably just need to know them, quite frankly. I want to go through an example of each and I want to ask a whole bunch of questions. Okay? So, um, for instance, if I said to you minus 5 times minus 2, okay? If you, if you do it in two separate steps, stages, you will, you'll be right. You'll always be right. So, look at the rules. Minus times minus plus five times two ten. So the answer is plus ten or just ten. Okay. Uh, look at this next one. So that is minus, and before the five, um, there isn't anything there, isn't there? So that means it must be a it must be a plus, okay? So all these numbers here haven't got anything before it, have they? So it must be a plus. So minus times plus is minus. Four times five, twenty. Do it in two separate steps. Uh, look at this one. Um, three times minus seven. Can you think what the answer to that one is? Well, plus times minus, minus, 3 times 7, 21. Um, you, you may well say, uh, oh, uh, hang, hang on Johnny Mathematics, um, you've not told us what plus times plus is. Well, you, you already know that one. If I said to you what's 2 times 4, you would all say 8, wouldn't you? And really, that is plus times plus is plus. Okay, so you already know this rule. We don't need to write it down. Okay. Um, I want to ask you a bunch of these. Okay, so you, you're doing them kind of automatically. Okay. So here is a bunch of questions. Feel free to pause the video and um, have a go. is I'll chuck in a couple of um, extensions and uh, see how we get on. So yeah, do pause the video. Let's see, let's see how we've got on. Let's see how we've got, uh, we've got them right. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say them. Uh, I'm gonna use my assistant Nina to tell me the answers. So this is how you should be thinking. Minus times minus. Minus. Plus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> minus times minus. <laughs> Plus. Three times seven. Add 21. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Plus 21 or 21. Um, minus times plus. Minus. Two times five. Ten. Plus times minus. Minus. Seven times two. 21. No. <laughs> 14. Sorry, the precious oh, game to me. <laughs> 14, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll do the rest, should I? 
minus times minus plus 5 times 3, 15, plus 15, you don't need the plus, it's just 15. Uh, this one here, plus times minus, minus 7 times 10 is um, 70, so it's minus 70. Um, look, I have mentioned this in one of my fractions videos. As soon as you see anything squared, I recommend that you always write it out twice. And if you write it out twice, then it's a straightforward question, isn't it? Because minus times minus is plus, squeeze it in here, plus, and three times three is nine. So the answer is plus nine. Look at this one here. If you write that one out twice, you write this one out here three times. So I'd do this separately. I would go minus times minus plus two times two is four. So we've got plus four times minus two. So plus times minus is minus. Four times two is eight. Did you get that one right? That's a bit of an extension. Well done if you got it right. This is this is the main kind of focus. Okay, this is the main focus. Well done if you um, if you if you got those right. So let's um, let's apply this to some algebra questions. Okay, so. How was that, Nina? Yeah, that's good. Piece of cake. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. Um, right. So, let me write a question down. A. So. I, need, I think I need to go over a couple of examples and ask a few questions. Can, can I just say, I said this earlier, but the practice we're getting here is nowhere near enough. You need to practice more of these at home, okay, to really consolidate it. So, um, do it in two separate halves. Um, I'm going to use um, my daughter Nina to help me here. So, um, Nina, minus times plus. Um, minus. 5 times a. 5a. Minus times minus. Plus. No, yeah, plus. <laughs> minus times minus. Plus. 5 times 2. 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 3 times a. 3a. So it is 3a, which is plus 3a. Plus times minus. Minus. 3 times 2. 6. 3 times 2 is 6, right? So, right, we've used these rules here to times out the brackets, okay? So we now need to put the, the, the apples and numbers together, right? We have got minus 5a plus 3a. So look, minus 5a plus 3a, that's going to end up at minus 2. A. And here we've got 10 take away 6. 10 take 6 plus 4. So please don't get the, this rule here where you go minus 5 add 3. Don't confuse the minus, the minus 5a and the plus 3a with um, this here. This rule here is just when you're times in out the brackets, okay? It is not when you are boinging up and down the number line, okay? Look, look at this question here. Let's do, let's do another question. So, are you ready, Nina, for this? Yeah, yeah you should, you're, you're born ready, aren't you? <laughs> let's, let's see, should we? Uh, Nina, what's 2 times b? 2b. Minus... Uh, yeah. uh, hang on. <laughs> wait for it, Nina, wait for it. Uh, what's plus times minus? 
Minus. Two times three. Six. Good. What minus times plus? Minus. Five times a. Five a. Minus times minus. Plus. Five times three. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Now um, let's uh, let's look at the number line here. Well, we got two b and minus five a. We can't do anything about that. Um, we can't add or take away anything from that. There's no other apples or bananas. We've now got minus 6 and minus 6 add 15. So minus 6 add 15 is going to end up at 9, isn't it? That's right. So, there's a lot of mistake potential here isn't there okay um, I think we need to do at least three again we've got to use the posh words can you write down expand and simplify okay here are a bunch of questions Do pause the video, please. Um, okay, so uh, there's there's a lot of mistake potential here. Let's just see how many you got right. This is the sort of thing you have to keep going back to quite carefully. And um, let's see if you if if and where you did make your uh, mistakes. Okay. So when we uh, times this out, um, we're going to get and uh, do check me, Nina. Um, we, we're going to get that. And when you put it together, we're on the number line here, minus 3, minus 2. Um, plus 8, and then here. Which is going to give us minus 1a plus 2. We don't need the 1 there, but if you've included it, that's not a problem minus a, then here we are minus 2b, 3b minus 9, which is going to leave us with minus 2 add 3 is 1b, or just b. Then we got 14, take away 9 is 5. Okay, um, here it was kind of like the, um, the other example. Um, what what we're going to put here? Can you can you remember? Well, if there's nothing there, always put a one in there, and then you're going to times it out, and you should end up with an answer of two a. Then it is going to be minus twelve minus five, and that's minus seventeen. That's right, isn't it, Nina? Yeah. Minus 12, minus 5, minus 17. Yeah. That is that is pretty much it. Okay. These skills need to be practiced. You need to do lots and lots of them to become proficient at it. Like anything else in life, really. Um, 
that is pretty much it. If if there's if there is um, if if you like what you've seen, then feel free to share this with with anyone. I'm quite happy about that. Um, and thank you for watching, and thank you for listening.